For the first time ever, non-cigarette smokers are sitting at home thinking, damn, I'm glad I planted those seeds. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out the legalities of making a banana brandy. But apparently in South Africa, it's illegal to own a still unless it's registered with SARS. But until that happens, I'm going to be taking you guys into the kitchen where we're carrying on with the idea of fermentations. And we're going to be making a traditional African ferment called mecheu. So let's shoot off over there to the kitchen and go and check out what we're up to. <music> So the recipe for Mecheo is going to be a cup and a half of Nyala, a cup of sugar, about two liters of water and some salt. Mecheo is one of those uh, fermented foods. So it's basically porridge that you ferment. By fermenting it, you're changing the nutritional profile because it's gone through, effectively gone through a digestive process already. One of the cool things about Mecheo is it's full of lactic acid fermenting bacteria that are eating the maize and they're turning that rapidly available glucose into a more diverse mixture of nutrients. You, you want to have the sweet to you but not too sweet so stick with a cup of sugar. Don't go more than that but you could come down from that. Also a cup and a half of uh, Nyala to the two liters of water. You might want a little bit more water. I ended up adding a little bit more water, but adding a little bit more water just adds, makes it a bit more runny. The texture changes and it, uh, again, it's down to you, the consumer. How are you going to enjoy your own Mecheu? Because you get to make it for yourself. So while your kettle's boiling over there, what we're going to do is we're going to take our Nyala, mix it up with some cold water, Mix it around to a nice smooth consistency and then we're going to pour that into the boiling pot and that way you don't get any clumps and it's the best way you can make the porridge. Okay guys, so while we've got this uh, mechu on the stove over here and it's brewing away, I just want to tell you why I like this stuff and uh, how I like to use it. I really enjoy the fact that you can make this on your countertop at home. It's a very nice beginner's or an entry level of ferment that you can do at home without uh, any previous experience. You just gotta cook up some porridge, then you leave that in your countertop to pick up any wild yeasts and lactic acid fermenters that are in the area. They're just gonna land in there, so they'll do the job for you. And then what I do is I reuse a little bit of my starter each time. So I use that last little bit of the last one and I put it into the new batch. You don't need this, your first round is just gonna pick up whatever is in the area. That's why I say this is such a nice beginner's course because you've got to make some good porridge, sieve it out, leave it in the countertop and it's going to pick up the yeasts and the bacteria from your environment. It's going to be specific to your house and it's going to help you. These are going to be probiotics to an extent that are going to help diversify your gut microbiome. And if you continuously eat these sorts of things, they may form associations with you. So we've got our boiling on the stove over here. And what you're looking for is for these big bubbles, thick, big bubbles on the top. It's an indicator that your porridge is cooked and I want to see the consistency of it. So you see that it's, if you give it a good throw around in here, you can feel it's, hmm, it's a little bit heavier in there still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a little bit more water to this. Yeah, that feels better. It's going to be down to personal preference at the end, but you're trying to get a good sort of fluid here, smooth finished product because this is going to be drinking not eating with a spoon so you can make this thicker if you wanted to eat it but I like to drink it in the morning so I like it a little bit runny. So the idea here is now just to get it through this so that there's no clumps on the other side and uh, it's broken up a whole lot of that starchiness that stickiness. The bugs uh, get to it a lot easier this way. So we're going to add in our sugar here now Once it's mixed up nicely, always try and give it a good taste and you don't eat out of the spoon you're using to mix with, just bad ferment etiquette. At this point, it's really up to you now. You've got to figure out what sort of taste you like it to be at. Remember, it's not going to stay sweet. The longer you leave it, the more sour and tangy it becomes, but it is going to start off sweet. Close it up, just put the lid on, not fully on, not too tight. And we're going to take this guy to the corner of the room where we set him up in amongst all of our chaos over here. We're done in this corner now. What you can do is cover it with a cloth so that the flies don't get to it. But we're gonna leave that Mechu straight there on the counter for two days and he's gonna get all bubbly and fizzy and those lactobacillus are gonna be eating all those sugars and turning them into nutrients for us. And this is gonna become our healthy, wholesome breakfast. I found that I get my smoothie fix by swapping out any yogurt or dairy products with this mechiru. 
and I think you will enjoy that if you are lactose intolerant or lactose sensitive. Try this out, make it for yourself at home and see how it goes for you. This is about learning the art of fermenting so that we can perfect our pineapple beers because I know all of you guys are here because I brewed a pineapple beer. If you haven't seen my pineapple beer videos, check them out. I'll put the link up in the corner over there. But let's get back to Mejero because that's what we're supposed to be doing today. Once you've got your Mejero and it's ready, I want to show you my favorite way to use it. I like to use a couple of really nice ripened, naturally ripened bananas. And we're going to add in some dragon fruit that we got donated to us very nicely from a, a, fa a neighboring farmer. It's the honey too, so the pair of them. Thanks, Julian. Adding in some wild African ginger. Also going to add in some pawpaw that we picked from the farm. And then we take our jug of finished mecheru. We give this guy a good mix up. What we end up with is a nice full jug of mixed fruits. As I fill up just until we get to the surface of the fruit. Take a trusty old stick blender and get right down to business. been a roller coaster over the last few days with the pineapple beer going absolutely crazy but I'm out here trying to figure out how to get a still sorted out so while I get that still licensing idea whatever it might be sorted out I went with a, another fermentation video where I made you guys some mecheu in the kitchen mecheu is a very healthy drink and it can be made at home very simply as I've showed you in this kitchen you can go ahead and do it it adds to a bit of gut health keeps your gut healthy keeps your microbiome diverse and as we move through the pandemic, we want to keep our immune systems in top, tip top shape. So these are the sorts of lifestyle changes that you can make at home that'll add to the resilience that you have in your own body. Thank you for joining my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I try to stick with the theme of fermentation here. I've had a hell of a lot of new subscribers, so I hope this is the kind of content that you guys are after. I'm still going to be doing this weekly. So check in here at the end of every Sunday for another Morgs Brew. But until then, I've got an interesting week coming up. And I uh, hope to share some of that shit with you next week. Exciting times ahead, I tell ya. I'll see you again. Hey, do you like me? I'm good and you, thank you, Bessa. Yeah, Bessa, I want to tell you, I've just made Mikheu now. <laughs> yeah, so I finished this in the pot. It's cold. I finished making it ready. It's on the counter, sitting and waiting now. Yes, you are right. <laughs> Good. Oh. Okay, yeah. Bessa. Thank you so much, Morgan. Thank okay, you. thank you, Bessa. Bye. Thank you, bye. Mecheu is a brilliant drink. It tastes quite good. It doesn't stink. Some have been making it for many years. Others are wary and have some fears. It's a living culture. Yes, it's alive. If you make it properly, it can help you thrive. Its healthy bugs are good for your gut. It could even help you to shape your butt. It is kind of tangy with a tasty fizz. If you mix it with honey, it is the shiz. You can make a smoothie with fruit in it too. Replacing the dairy might be good for you. Mecheu is made and fermented from maize. People have been making it all of their days. So learn to make it. You have to try it. It might become part of your staple diet.